We've discussed rhythm ideas. We've discussed playing chords, different power chords. Another aspect of the guitar is to play single lines or lead lines on top of these chords. So even though this is a very, very early stage, I want to try to show you how using very little information and with very simple fingering, you can play something that's quite meaningful. This particular set of ideas that I'm going to show you will work across the type of chord sequence that we used in the last lesson. First of all, a word about single string playing. I'll play a little bit for you so that you can get an idea of what we can do with this. This is what I mean by single, single line playing. So in the case of this particular idea, I want you to take the third finger and place it behind the fifth fret. This is like tuning the guitar back to that very, very first lesson when we're learning to tune the guitar. I said to you about putting the fingers behind the fifth fret. So we place the third finger on the second string behind the fifth fret, which gives us the E note. Now what's really good about this, it means we can play this note plus the top E and it creates a really nice sound. Now we can then take that idea and shift third finger again up here on the 10th fret which gives us an A note, but again we can play the open string. That may sound a little strange at the moment, but it's, that's rock and roll for you. Back to here, 5th fret. And the way to practice that is simply to work on the idea of playing this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, shift, 1, 2, three, four. Exactly as we did with the chords, we play them at the beginning of the bar. When you feel comfortable with that, then the next little thing that you need to know is you can move on to the third string. Again, this refers to our tuning system, which gives you the B note and use the open B string. So this gives you E, A, and B. And using those three ideas, we can actually make quite a lot of music with them. Played exactly as I've played them, obviously, you need to put some rhythm into them. And as we go on, I'll show you how to use some slides to create some, some different kinds of effects. But just to indicate to you how this can actually work, I'll play a little rhythm and then put this on top of it. Here we go. Start with E. Okay, that gives you some ideas where I can play these different types of single note lines, or they're actually double notes, against the chords. Now you can actually vary that quite a bit. I could have started my first chord on the A and E. In fact, I'll demonstrate that for you. And in fact, what I was doing there, I was playing the A against the A chord, the E against the E chord, and then dropping back to the B against the E chord. Both will fit perfectly well. And you can begin to see that by using these simple lines, this is the beginning of you being able to improvise on the guitar. The idea is that you're kind of making this up as you go. You can alter the rhythms. I actually started playing the same rhythm as I had played on the rhythm guitar. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. I could have played my offbeat rhythm. One, two, and three, four. Or I could have played my four in the bar rhythm. All of these rhythms will work against the actual 
chords which I've given you. So what I'd like to do, I'll play a little bit of drum, drum machine, play that set of chords, and then add a little bit of that uh, single line to it. Here we go. Single line. Okay, so that's how you put them together. I'll leave it at that and see you next time.